many players will come across Peter Griffin in their travels in Lothric during their time with Dark Souls 3. But amidst all of the action and adventure, did you know that there was a secret story about Peter Griffin? The character in Dark Souls 3. It's not really a character, it's a player, but for the purpose of this video, I'm pretending like, you know, he's, he's an actual character in the game, but he's not. Many people look over the lore of Peter Griffin. It's so easy to miss as you're running through the game, fighting gankers. trying to make them remember what it felt like when they had to get good. But I would urge you to stop and really take the time to appreciate this little known character, Peter Griffin. This is Saint Isidia. And my PvP rare prayer to PV pre PvP or PV prepare to PV prayer to cry Peter Griffin. Nestled between Irithil the Boreal Valley and En Orlando and its ruined cathedral lies what is sometimes commonly referred to as Gank City, an area in Lothric populated by many different types of people, a true melting pot, if you will. There are players trying to progress their game by themselves, there are hosts looking to have very honorable fight clubs with invaders whom they have a 30% health point bonus over, as well as the citizens the location is known for, Gankers. This is the story of one such Ganker, Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin came to Gank City, and he wished to do the PvP. The player versus player. Now, if we look at the item description of the doo-doo, it tells us, quote, Peter Griffin was a shit-tier player, one that was unable to do PvP against multiple opponents and so he ganked. What we can infer from this doo-doo item is that, like many of Gank City's residents, Peter Griffin was one that wished to do the PvP and kill other players. Perhaps he had gotten it in his head by watching YouTube videos or popular streamers on Twitch. But when push came to shove, and Peter Griffin could not have his advantage with his phantoms, he ran to the ladder to do the Ring of Favor glitch trick. You can tell when your opponent is employing this trick, because their health will bounce back and forth as they remove and equip the Ring of Favor over and over again. What made Peter Griffin a very special boy. Besides the classes they put him in in elementary school, was the fact that Peter Griffin knew about the Ring of Favor trick, and that made him very smart in his own mind. However, he did not know that there was a counter to the Ring of Favor trick, and that all his opponent had to do was not lose stamina by simply sliding down on top of his head 
and doing damage over a period of time. Then Peter Griffin became upset and fell favor to the Ring of Favor trick himself. If we look at the item, the Ring of Favor, the lore states this ring wasn't supposed to be taken off or it would break. It's in the lore of the first game, but we didn't want to do that because Dark Souls 3 casual babies would have thrown a fit. Peter Griffin bested by his own technique. Now, this is the sort of this is the sort of story that you hear about. Someone who is bested by their own comeuppance. And it is this type of story that I think From Software tells so very well. Now, what happened in that water reserve was well, it could have been textbook, but it wasn't. Peter Griffin engaged in rolling and running away, for if we look at the stock doo doo dung pie item description, it clearly states Peter Griffin was nothing if not a runner, and oftentimes the doo doo would fall behind him as he ran. What separates an invader from a ganker is a willingness to fight multiple opponents. Gankers do not have this. They enjoy pressing the circle button and getting millions and millions of free iframes at the cost of very little stamina. Other invaders are often geniuses who will chase them with a spinning, swinging greatsword. Sometimes there might be an invader with a spear, and if we look at the powerful Poking Partisan's lore description, it appears that this is what Peter Griffin came to face that day. The water reserve holds the body of Archdeacon McDonald. Archdeacon McDonald's was thrown into the water reserve by Pontiff Sullivan in an attempt to poison the water of An Orlando and thus poison the Dark Moon himself, Gwendolyn. We are told this by Yorshka. And then to make sure no one ever ventured down into the water reserve, the Pontiff Sullivan placed two of his Pontiff Crocodog creatures into the well. And this, of course, is where Peter Griffin dies. But before he died, he took off his ring of favor and threw it in the well. And that is why we find it here in the water reserve. PV prepare to cry. <laughs>